Hey, welcome to Hanson Legacy Farm. I have a couple of projects that we're going to be working on today. First project is going to be um, getting the herb bed started. And the second project, if time allows and my daughter gets here pretty quickly, we are going to be working on so, uh, pickling some quail eggs. I started off with planting a tomato plant over here that was on its last leg and uh, wanted to give it a chance to survive. And I moved the day lilies from over beside the shed. Um, they were struggling over there and I moved them over here beside the house. It seemed like the metal on the side of the shed really just kind of makes it difficult for anything to grow over there so i moved them over here start uh, blooming for me and i did move the day lily over here that i had the in the pot by the chicken coop the barbary cassar i did move it over here as well so i am glad that i moved it because it's doing well over here too so let's go get some basil from this bed right here the basil self-seeding itself over here. Anytime you brush against it or uh, water it, you get a, a fragrance of basil. I really like the basil being planted over here in the herb garden by the dining room window. I love planting edibles in between the uh, flowers. I think that's a, a beautiful picture. I'm really gonna like this bed. This is my garden sage. And it needs to have six, six or more hours of sun. So hopefully it'll get at least six hours of sun. If I see that it's starting to do poorly, I'll move it into a more sunnier spot, my plants are used to being moved. <laughs> I moved them multiple times before I decide on a spot. I am gonna leave the basil right here. Uh, I really like it. The, the bright green against the dark green and the purple. I think that's really pretty. I've got one more thing that I'm gonna take out of this pot because it's being uh, kind of shrouded out by the wave petunia is I'm gonna take the lavender out and put it over there in that same bed. Let's get this one out of the pot. And then the way Petunia can go at it. <laughs> you can see that it wasn't doing very well in there. It wasn't getting enough light. 
So maybe by me planting it over here, it's gonna get a lot more light and thrive a lot better. I can make lavender oil with this. That's the lavender I smell. That smells good. I think I wanna plant it in this spot. have a fun day moving plants around and making packs with what I've got. And I may go grab one more basil plant and put it right here behind me. Darren was telling me that I had too much basil in this bed anyways. And I do. It's self-seeded. The bees are really liking it. This basil is really rooted in here. I think that'll be okay. Okay, let's get some biotone in there. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us in the kitchen today. Um, this is my daughter, Stephanie. She came down to bring her quail legs so that we could <laughs> do a little bit of canning together. And, uh, we are making pickled quail eggs and uh anyways it's a very simple process we're just going to do the ice box variety of pickled eggs so let me just tell you the ingredients for our pickled eggs how many quail eggs stephanie oh around 200 <laughs> around 200 quail eggs so she has been standing here for a good long while, for for almost two hours, to kill these eggs. And uh, we have our brine on the stove, but let me tell you what's in our brine. So we have four teaspoons of salt, 12 whole peppercorns, three teaspoons of cayenne pepper, 10 whole allspice, three cups of vinegar, and make sure that's the 5% vinegar, three teaspoons of yellow mustard seed, six cloves of garlic, and two bay leaves. And what we did, we went ahead and got everything started because um, with Eden and Scarlett playing together, it was a little loud in here for a little while. So we uh, kind of had to skip that process of showing you what we did, but we just added all of the ingredients to our, our uh, Dutch oven on the stove and uh, let it come to a boil. And when it came to a boil, we turned the, turn the heat off and covered it. And then you're supposed to let it simmer for about two hours. And uh, it's approximately how long Stephanie has been standing here trying to peel these quail eggs. I helped for a little bit, but then I stopped and went and sat in the recliner to play with Scarlett. But I think I took a little bit of a cat nap. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, the dough still has about 19 minutes on the brine that we're going to be putting in the jar. And uh, I think we're ready. Here's one jar. Yeah, that's about it. And uh, so we're going to be able to make at least one jar of pickled eggs. And what we're going to be doing with the rest that did not peel all the way, uh, Typically, like you said, they peel a lot easier than this, but for some reason today, her eggs weren't wanting to peel right. So um, we're gonna be making some egg salad with these. And uh, so these won't go to waste. And then the eggs that we, uh, that floated, that Stephanie um, 
felt that weren't good, we're gonna give to the chickens outside. They'll like those. So. We've got one jar of pickled eggs, um, quail eggs, and these are gonna go into the fridge with the lid. Anyways, and then tomorrow, uh, they'll need to sit at least 24 hours, at least, before you taste them. And the longer they sit, the, the uh, spicier they get, so. And let's move these over here and I'll let you do that. This is the first time Stephanie has tried to do any kind of canning, so she wanted to come down and let let her mother help her out <laughs> just a little bit. So let me go get the brine off the stove. And then I need to get a big scoop, Stephanie. We we did try the ice bath, which is what I've done in the past to put them in to help them peel better and that didn't seem to be helping. And so I've tried baking soda too. It just wasn't working out today for us. <laughs> That and, got dark. Yeah, it got dark, but, and we also chopped up a jalapeno. We're not gonna put all of it in there because. It's nice and spicy. <laughs> now, if it was for me, I'd put the whole thing in there. <laughs> but, not everybody likes things as spicy as I do. So, we're gonna start, give this a good stir. And then how many of these slices do you wanna put in there? Just about three? Yeah, three. About three, four. So we're just gonna add the jalapeno slices to the jar of the eggs. And then Stephanie, let me get my canning lid and you're gonna put that on there and pour you some brine until you get to at least a, an inch head space at the top, okay? Okay. Woo, last one to peel. <laughs> You want to put it in this jar? Oh, well, I don't know how it. Oh, well, actually, it's a good one. I nicked it a little bit. <laughs> All right, so what Stephanie's going to do is she's going to put the brine. That one's probably a good one the, if it'll fit. Yeah. Yep. All right. You just want to make sure that whenever you're peeling your um, quail eggs that you want the whole, you don't want any nicks or anything like Say for instance, this one right here, when we were peeling them, I don't know if you can see, the white peeled off of it. And although this one wasn't bad, the, um, what's gonna happen though, you see, um, what, well that's spicy. Mm -hmm. What's gonna happen though, is the longer it sits in the fridge, it's gonna make the egg disintegrate in there and it can make it cause, maybe possibly go rancid. And so you wanna make sure that you have all of the white intact all the way around the egg. Okay, so Stephanie, go ahead and so put you some in there. Nice and spicy. <laughs> and we're not gonna have to debubble this. We're gonna kind of turn it up and down, not shake it, but just up and down, like when we get the lid put on there. Okay. Did I fill it up too far? No, it's perfect. We're gonna save the rest of the brine in a jar, I think. Here you go. Put the lid on there. And then just gently turn it over and then flip it back over. All right, and that's gonna go into the fridge and then tomorrow we're gonna be able to give it a taste. So anyways. <laughs> 200 eggs peeled here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining Hanson and Legacy Farm today. As always, we invite you to come back and join us again. God bless everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. <laughs> you know what I didn't get in there? I didn't get, oh, I, I filled that up too much. I didn't get any garlic or stuff in there with the, those eggs. It's okay, you can open it up and put one in there. I need some garlic cloves in there. Well, put your garlic in there. It's okay. Here. I didn't get me a good scoop. Well, it's okay. This is gonna be your pen. Gonna put another one. Yeah. Just the one. 
Need some garlic in there. 